So, what's the name of the first fell we're going to today? <laughs> what is it again? <laughs> Cock up. Yeah. That's funny, yeah? No. What's so funny about it? Just me being immature then. Oh, it's a windy one today. Forecasting gusts around 45 mile, no, 45 kilometres an hour on top of my second wind right today, which is the knot. But I tell you what, it's a lot better conditions in terms of visibility in comparison to the last time I was here. So that's a good thing. Um, also, since my last video, the temperatures have increased. So a thaw is going on. Uh, I was on the uh, 66, little patches of snow on top of Blaine Catherine still. But we're not going to reach those heights today, so unlikely we're going to see any snow. Um, but we are going to get bombarded with the wind. I'm out with a little lad again. Should be interesting. And here's the route for the day. Which way? Straight up. Left, no, straight up. Oh, I don't know. Left, yeah. So starting from the car park at Longlands, heading south east, which is the path that takes you alongside Longlands Beck. Um, quite a nice walk, actually. Slow ascent for about two and a half kilometres, which will take you to the start of Trusmador, which is a small valley between Great Cockup and Meal Fell. Once you hit the path, uh, then takes you up to Great Cockup, quite a steep ascent. Heading west, you'll notice there, Little Cockup. Yeah. Um, anyway, back down, return route, heading back down the valley, and then take a small ascent up to Burn Todd, heading east, and that will eventually take you to the Knot. Uh, quite a grassy walk really no distinctive path from the knot heading north northeast will take you back down to great scar fell a uh, further hike will then take you onto little scar fell and from there it's a slow descent uh, heading north west uh, i'll be heading down to chalton gill which is a path which lies to the east of Lothwerk Fell and Longlands Fell. And from there, simply join the Cumbrian Way and back to the car. So we actually went the wrong way, so there you go. I'm back on the path. This path basically takes us up to Trusmador. It's a bit steep, isn't it? It's made it. Yeah, this took us up to Trusmador. Now the wind is southwesterly, so yeah, we're heading more southwest so into it thankfully uh, i've dropped into the valley um so a bit of uh, a bit of relief really from the strong winds but i know for a fact that that is going to be the main battle oh is that tree remember that tree see that that was the focal point one of my favorite photographs from the last time I was here and you've got the road trees as well in terms of light it's not doing much at all forecasts rain but light rain uh, that shouldn't be a problem um, waterproofs are on I'm going to keep them on probably all winter the added layer of protection um, once I get to the knot it's forecasted around noon it's forecasted to drop around minus two wind chill. So that should be interesting. He just dropped his glove and he don't know because he's, he's filming away. That's our first sighting of Trusmador. Uh, bit of a, an ascent, which then take up to the bottom of Great Cockup um, before heading up there. Yeah, looking back, at these subjects to turn you around they recognize them 
in a moment, in a moment, I'll show you the copse of trees which I shot from a distance. Um, no, not really any better conditions today, so I haven't attempted the same shots. So here we are, I'll show you this. You just see this. Sun's breaking out. Design. There is a certain remoteness about the northern fells. Lots of grassland. But you really can lose yourself in this landscape. Not particularly good for landscape photographers because there's not a lot of beaches to home in on, especially if there's no you know, splashes of light or mist and fog creating those layers. But as I said, often just a case of either getting attached to nature and escaping from the other side of life, the busy side of life. I'm getting a connection with the landscape. Certainly got a connection with the wind at the moment. And it's not at its worst, no doubt. So, trust me, the start of the ascent. That fell to the left hand side is Mill Fell. We're going to continue up this small ascent, then more or less back of ourselves up towards. Great cock up, that's the first win right of the day. Here's our field. So there we are, that's the junction really where you come down from uh, Mill Fell. And that's the start of the path there, which will go to Great Cock up. This path in front of me, the zigzag path, eventually will take us to Burn Todd. And then head east, continue east, to our second wind right, which is a knot at 710 metres. <laughs> He's balancing a piece of slate in his head. It keeps me amused. Um, hints of him feeling rather tired. I'm not sure we'll make the knot. We'll get to the knot. Not you, will it? Yeah, wind. Still an issue. But bearable. It's going to get a lot worse once we get to great cock up. It's going to be hard. Hard cock up. No, cut that bit out. Quite a few fog summits here at Great Cock Up. We can, from memory, it's right in the middle there. Um, as, as expected, it's blowing quite hilly. First glimpse of light, really, uh, looking towards Unluck Pike. Just a break in the light, um, and this is all about layers and a bit of detail in the cloud. Quick shot. Probably went in all the way to be honest. I can't tell at this moment. I'm about 400 mil. I've taken a few other options, but yeah, splashing the light as well. Over two hours, passing through it. Oh, this is horrendous. So we're slowly making our way down from Great Cock Up. Bit of a break in the wind got some in a, a, a valley. And then we're gonna head up that zigzag there. So burn Todd and that'll take us 
onto the knot. We're gonna do it. He's had some uh, peanut butter bagels and peanuts and some sweets. It's all it takes sometimes. Okay, so we're slowly making our way up to the knot. We're at the side of Burn Todd. Uh, the ascent is eased off, so it's a gradual climb now. Just stopped, just admiring the views really and just seeing where we're going to be returning. Quick spin round. Mill fell is what we did last time. We're not going to hit that today. Spin you around again. This lump here, that's frozen fell. We're going to make our way down Great Scar Fell, Little Scar Fell, and then we're going to head down towards the valley. We're going to avoid Longlands. The rain is intermittent. I mean, two miles with a pack the camera away, to be honest. Um, not much opportunities. You just climb, there's no light, there's no light separation. Uh, the best of the photography opportunities was back there looking towards uh, Ullock Pike and Skidder. Nice detail, bit of cloud. Right, gradual climb now uh, to the knot. Oh, here we are, the knot. We made it. The highest point of the day. The sun is coming out. Oh, wonderful stuff. Tap that can. Oh, wow. There's a bit of light. Lots of mood. But wow. Very testing. Okay, so we're not going to hang around here. The light's fleeting, come and gone. Uh, the camera's off the strap. No point in it being here. So it's firmly away in the bag. So we're going to head north now. Um, to Great Scarfell, Little Scarfell. We're going to dip down towards Longlands then. Join the path back to the car. Funny enough, we're loving it. So it's a very buggy um, grassland moor basically but it's quite good fun it's not that bad it's quite soft on the foot a little as you said it's been quite easy this hasn't it okay conditions aren't the best but absolutely I mean, look at this that's a peat bog anyway after a fairly short hike from the knot, we finally reached Great Scar Fell. Photography is very limited. It just moved, lots of moodiness, but no great contrast. Anyway, Great Scar Fell. Calm down a bit, but it doesn't seem to at all. It's followed us into the valley. So we're heading down to Chalton Gill uh, rather than the route I did before, which was, well, first it was Longlands Fell and Lothwaite Fell. So we're going to avoid those. I say avoid them, that sound right. We're not going to do those. I'm going to say we're going to head down to this gill and head towards a copse of trees which I did photograph the last time I was here in the mist so I'll have a look at them I have got the conditions of course but um, why is he stunning a big pull Charlton Gill is quite, quite pretty actually quite a nicely carved landscape and it's an alternative route of course I've not come this way and that's the thing when I'm doing my second round of waiting right so I like to try different routes and then uh, there's route it's definitely one of those right okay um yeah there's no light it's one big blanket cloud a bit of definition um yeah not a day for photography 
except on one occasion of a uh, look pike but other than that not much going on I did however miss that momentarily moment momentarily moment anyway that fleeting light I was uh, approaching the top of summit but to be honest the uh, camera was in the bag because I've put down my weather cover somewhere, my long lens, so I don't know where it is. That's the reason why it wasn't attached to the uh, uh, backpack. Not to worry, it was literally like 10 seconds. A bit more. Anyway, I missed it. No point going on about it. So that is it. Good distance today. 12k we've done today, which isn't bad at all for the little lad. Has enjoyed it as well. Okay, okay. So here's a few of the shots. Didn't get many, but here's a few of the shots. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope, hope you like joining me on these hikes, trips with the sun. But until next time, keep smiling. Take good care, son. Bye bye for now.